Okay, we're back on. Very quickly, spiritual ego. Um, well, I suppose it's just a general question, spiritual ego. Yeah. Well, spiritual, oh yes, so, I guess there's ignorant ego and spiritual ego. So when I was in active addiction, I uh, wasn't interested in spirituality. I was just being run uh, by my ego. So I was working in the stock market. I was greedy. I was selfish. I was dishonest. I had food addiction. I was running to these addictions. And I wasn't interested in spirituality. So I was just being egotistical. Then, um, then I learnt, then I had spiritual experience, kind of a, almost like a near-death spiritual experience. Then I was interested in spirituality. And now I'm learning all this spiritual information. And I now know more spiritual information than, than other people. You know, so now my, spirit, my ego can take on a, a new guise, which we term the spiritual ego. Which is like, you know, like before, when I was just in my ego, it's like, I have a better job than you. I'm working in the stock market. You know, you're working in Tesco, so my ego goes, I'm better than you because I'm in the stock market, you're in Tesco. So that's like an ignorant ego. Now I'm learning about spiritual information. So, you know, I, I, can, I, and I have all these spiritual teachers and I have all this vocabulary. And so it's like, so now the ego grabs onto I know more information than you do. So I, I, I then see myself as better. Again, remember, you know, like, when we do spiritual work, we're letting go of the sense of separation and individu individuality or specialness, so that we get this sense of oneness or timelessness mm -hmm. uh, beyond that. So, but when you start to do spiritual work, you usually have a spiritual ego, which is the ego just grabs onto any parameter, doesn't matter what it is. I'm taller than you, so I'm better than you. I, you know, um, I have a better <laughs> IQ than you, then I'm better than you. I know about the Course in Miracles, and you don't know about the Course in Miracles. Mm -hmm. That means I'm better than you. Or, um, so it's just like, um, it's just using something, but it's also a separation, mm. you see, because we're trying to let go of everything within the ego that creates this sense of separation. So then just to, to put, hold on to anything, this creates a separation. So eventually you have to like, those are all what we call dualities, you know, a this and a that. So it's creating a, a me in reference to another. So that, that's just using spirituality to say better than or, or worse than. But we're another. taught to feel this, you know, that a stock marketer is more important than somebody that works at Tesco's. That's how we're, you know, everything that comes at us from yeah. media is telling us that this is a fact, pretty well, much. But it's not true. No, I'm not saying it's true. <laughs> I'm saying that the influences, oh, yeah. you know, are incredibly huge. And, you know, a doctor is you know better than a road sweeper or whatever. You know what I'm saying. Yes. And it's and you have to be you know spiritually like Samson to really be able to change your mind basically. I think. I I agree, and I think the course of miracles is is a is a brilliant a brilliant way to do that. Like one of the lessons in a course of miracles is I'm not a victim of the world I see. You know, and in fact, the whole, you know, they, they have 365 lessons at the back of the Course of Miracles. And if you do those lessons regularly, they will deprogram you from everything that the world has programmed you with. Also, I think that one of the, one of the things, you know, people have, have recommended this watch to people. People have actually bought this watch. Yeah. But, what uh, <laughs> you know. What's this This is a spiritual watch. This, this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the spiritual watch. I was I was given divine, divine, divine guidance, divine guidance to buy this. Hey, we want to know the joke. Yes, the. I I recommend this watch. The joke is I recommend this watch to everyone, um, <clears throat> because I recommend the Course in Miracles to do the 365 lessons, and and it tells you to do eventually it tells you to do things every 10 minutes throughout the day. Wow. To repeat the lesson, you know, yeah. every ten minutes throughout the day, and I was told by God, you know, get that watch. Uh, <laughs> this, I don't get any commission for this. This Casio watch, <laughs> this Casio watch from Argos. Yeah, I don't get any commission from this. Um, you got one anyway. Does it help you with your ten minute? Right. Yeah, you can set it like ten minutes every twenty minutes every thirty minutes, and. And it also answers this thing of like, mm. how, f 
you know, if you're being addicted, you know, if you're being programmed constantly by the world and to take on all of this stuff and to believe it, you know, then you have to have an equal and opposite spiritual intention to deprogram yourself mm -hmm. throughout the day. So, you know, and to, and the Course of Miracles, you know, one of the th things with spiritual ego, I think the Course of Miracles is great, you know, one of the first lessons within a Course of Miracles is all my thoughts are meaningless. You know, all my thoughts are equally meaningless. Mm -hmm. So like, if I, if, so if you're having spiritual ego, it's like you're having a thought like, I have more spiritual information than you, but that thought is meaningless, mm -hmm. you see. So that then, that then releases that thought. Um, so just quickly on spiritual ego, I just use everything. I use the Course of Miracles, all my thoughts are meaningless, the observer, I'll, I'll go into this a bit later on today and how to do the observer, but observer quite simply is like, if any thought arises or any comparison, because ego is usually a comparison or better or worse than, arises, well, what's, what's the witnesser of that? And uh, what's the witnesser? Can, you, can I be the detached witnesser of that and let the power drop out of these thoughts? So hence come to presence, you see. So you dissolve, you dissolve the spiritual ego because eventually, as the, you know, the Course in Miracles says oneness as an experience. So if you hold on to any thought in an identified manner, i.e. that there is any sense of a me in relation to other, i.e. duality, then, then you know, there is some sense of um, dualistic perception. Yeah, so that's, any, any other questions on spiritual ego, or is that, is that, okay. Just, just to say, I've been mugged uh, se several times, <laughs> repeatedly. You, you, things are going well, and you think, I'm, I'm making real progress, and you go on, and, you know. And then the ego jumps back into the driving seat, and says, hey ho, we're on the road to enlightenment, unlike all these other poor clots who <laughs> haven't got a clue what's going on. <laughs> and you then crashed off your... Yeah. Your peaceful branch, and your, your, your back at the worst standard, better than yeah. I, I absolutely agree, and I, I think that is the nature of the ego. Uh, as soon as you're making, and my own experience is, as soon as you're making some spiritual progress, you'll be tested. Mm. I just expect it. You know, if I'm, if I'm in bliss and peace every day for a while, there's still, you know, um, one needs caution because usually then something will come. So, I mean, it's also a great question. I also think it's one of the things with the course. The course for me is like teaching constant vigilance. You know, I mean, like, you know, because if you like, you know, you know, like I have this watch, and I usually set it to every five minutes. This is after doing it for many, many years. I now have it to every five minutes. It's like that level of vigilance of the ego, getting programmed by the world. Mm. You know, you're doing all these things, like my thoughts are meaningless every five minutes. Oh, I'm better than you, I know more, no, it's beep, 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 let me go, <laughs> yeah, let me go, see, yeah, let me go, and then, you know, then I'm off into a fantasy, you know, I'm so amazing, and I'm, I'm brilliant, and then beep, 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 <laughs> let me go, you know, let me go, see, so it's like deflation every five minutes, or go to the observer, what's observing, your, you know, what's observing how amazing you are, so let's go to the observer, of that. does the, is the observer, like, thinking how, and it's not interested in, in, in what's going on there, so you just dissolve the thing. But this is the thing, like the whole world, mm -hmm. or even if the world isn't imprinting you, your own ego is trying to come up with, with uh, I call it bullshit, basically. <laughs> you know, so, you know, the, it, simple, yeah. it wants to be centre stage and have this kind of grandiose mm. thing. But um, it's also, as you, as you let these levels of things in, and, you know, also for me, there's a divine, you know, as you let go of one thing, something else in your ego is you're now ready to transcend that new thing that you've never yet come up with, to, and how the spiritual ego manifests. But as you go up in your uh, consciousness, you know, the world does get better, but you're constantly tested. And, um, and also, uh, something that Dr. Hawkins said, even if you like, so you have your, per your ego is like your personal reservoir of lessons that you've got. But if you do enough spiritual work, you'll be like clearing things out of the collective as well. You know, collective patterns of insanity as well. So, yeah, so there's, there's a fair amount of work to do while you're still around in this place, usually. Mm.